Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a real quick video here uh, just to show you what's going on with this uh, Pokemon Nintendo 64 I've got. Um, basically, uh, well, I, I plugged it in, I mean, it was, it was pretty dirty anyway, so I was kind of like thinking it was looking like it had been left in the rain or something like that, so what I did was I took it apart um, <laughs> and I was greeted by. I don't know if you can see it really, but it doesn't look good in here. There's lots of rust, and when I took out the jumper pack, that kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but that's all rusty as well. And basically I plugged it in and it just it just wouldn't boot the game cartridge that was plugged into it. It was just resetting constantly. And looking at this, I'm not surprised to be honest. It's looking pretty manky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've got a uh, just a bog standard Nintendo 64 lying around and thankfully it looks as though the motherboard is identical to the one in here. The only difference being uh, is that it doesn't have the, the LED, the power LED, because obviously Pikachu's cheeks act as the power, power LED. Now it does have this extra connector here that comes off from under the motherboard there somewhere uh, whereas the original one doesn't but I'm thinking it's just a power line because I don't know if we can get this focused because this PCB here I'm pretty sure just controls uh, his cheeks like the, the LEDs in his cheeks all they do is they just blink a few times and then just stay on so I'm pretty sure that's all that, all that will be just a little power line, which I can probably hook up to the new motherboard. But yeah, I'm just going to take everything off of here, clean it up quite a bit. Uh, probably, I don't know what I'm going to do with this motherboard. Probably going to bin it or harvest it for parts. There's usually some pretty cool service mount caps on here that I can make use of. Okay, so I've got it all cleaned up, and it was absolutely disgusting. I had to change the water twice. Um, and the second time it was even just like thick brown gunk and uh, it's disgusting but as you can see it looks a lot better and I've replaced the motherboard and as I thought with this little connector here it actually just soldered to oh, let's see if I can it's a bit difficult with holding the camera as well but let's see if I can focus that yeah, so it just attached to these two points on the uh, joypad port and I've also gone ahead and removed that uh, LED that was there because it was pretty much pointless anyway um, since the Pikachu's cheeks there and they've got the little red things in them I'll tell you what, I'll tell you that the power's on anyway okay, let's see of this little PCB here and just to give you a little comparison between the uh, motherboards, uh, this is what the other one looked like underneath. That is disgusting. All that lovely rust, and it kind of went onto the case as well. It kind of ingrained itself in the plastic, so I had to. Uh, get out the old fiberglass pencil and scrape it all off but it came up like new which is great uh, the top of the case isn't quite as good let's have a look here uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's a few scuffs and there's this little black pen mark up here which I'll probably take some alcohol to But uh, yeah, come up pretty good. So I guess all that's left to do now. Oh, there's a little bit of damage there, unfortunately. What can you do? Yeah, I'll just put it all back together. Test it out. Okay, so I've got it all back together and it's looking pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't, like I said before, hasn't got the uh, the original uh, jumper pack cover on it. But never mind. I've got my expansion back in there, so. I figure what Q 
cute game have I got that I can try with the cute console? I'll give it a bit of Yoshi's Yoshi's story. Plunk that in there. Turn it on. <laughs> this is all lights going. And it's working perfectly. So there you go. If you ever come across one of these consoles and uh, it doesn't work or there's uh, if it's just like the motherboard's completely wrecked somehow then you can quite easily swap out the main board for that of a normal Nintendo 64 so that's about all I've got for right now so uh, see you later